King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, iPod, King Carter, King Carter. Yo, dog. I can't take this shit no more, man. Why do Philadelphia really have to be the city of L's, fam? Like, what the f*** is going on, dog? My Eagles just lost to the Giants, bruh. When is we going to win another game? Bro, I don't care about that game against the Vikings. We knew who Sam Bradford was, fam. But when we going to win? When we really going to show people that we something, dog? We got Huff out here, weed and guns and shit, thinking he a thug. Like, come on, bro. What are y'all doing? Jordan Matthews? Ryan Matthews? Do you mean to tell me the Matthews is about to sit the bench? Like, you already know what's about to happen, dog. They're going to say, oh, his production is in such and such. We're going to have to go out and get another wide receiver. Uh, Maybe he'll show up. Maybe we'll move him to the Dog, what is going on? And then, oh, let's not talk about the Sixers. When we going to win the game? When? Yeah, we had a couple tightly contested matches, but we couldn't pull it out. You know what I'm saying? Pause. But what's up with Gerald Henderson? Yeah, that's right. I'm going to stop. Gerald Henderson, bro. What is you doing? Why is you a flop artist? Who is this? I swear to goodness, bro. I never seen no footage of Gerald Henderson ever in my life, bro. I remember him being a ball-headed player in 2K because my dude was ball-headed, and that was it. I don't remember this dude for doing nothing. Why do you come to the Sixers and keep on flopping? In tightly contested matches, games that are hanging in the balance, why do you keep flopping? Yeah, I know you got fouled. I'm not saying you didn't get fouled, but don't try to sell the foul. Get fouled and try to make the shot. Have some heart out there, bruh. Stop being going to throw the towel at the end of the game, throw it at one of his teammates and then say sorry and walk to the back. Like, come on, bro. You know what you did. You knew you tried to sell it. Stop trying to sell stuff. And let's get back to these Eagles, dog. For some reason, our offensive line ain't shit. Don't know what happened to the offensive line. You know what I'm saying? Carson Wentz is literally getting under a, a second and a half, maybe, of protection before he's getting fucking bombarded by, like, eight people, bro. I, uh, yo, I'm so mad, dog. Like, I literally just watched that last play where Jordan Matthews cut to the outside and was supposed to catch that ball. Who tries to catch the ball with their offhand? You're supposed to jump and turn. If you know the ball is coming to that point, jump and turn. Don't just reach out with your arm and just knowing that you're all flicky. He was like, ugh. Like, bro, bro, what is you doing? Turn and jump. Maybe he didn't have the footing. Maybe he didn't have the position. I don't care what it was, bro. It was, listen, a lot of people can always say, man, it's plays throughout the game that develop that make these things happen. But, bro, the game is on the line. Every time the Sixers or the Eagles have taken an L, most of the time it's that last play, that play where we can possibly get the win. And what have we done? Taking an L. I don't even want to talk about rap. I don't want to talk about, we talking about sports right now, dog. Why Philadelphia keep taking these L's, bro? Like my Sixers, all we need is one win to get the party started. And Embiid, yo, he's a problem. Like, I can't take nothing from Embiid. Rodriguez is nice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Stauskas is doing good. Um, who else is doing all right? I guess you could say, well, nah, Jalil, he's just, he just Jalil, bro. He got the same moves from last year. He the same dude, dog. They just shipped off, uh, whatchamacallit, Grant, who dunked on Durant. So they brought over the ball, Ilya Sova, which he had 20 last night. So... I'm not mad about that, you know what I'm saying? Elias Over is doing his thing, but bro, we gotta stop taking these L's, fam. Like, these L's is pissing me the fuck off, dog. I already lost all my hair, bro. What else is there to lose? Like, I'm gonna lose my facial hair next? This shit is pissing me the fuck off, man. Yo, and then, oh man, nobody's a rival anymore, bro. Like, you got all these dumb behind super teams in the league. Everybody either wanna get on a bandwagon to get a win, or they just are, put in a position where they can't get no wins. The only person that is doing something in this league, bro, that didn't hop on a bandwagon and stuck with their team is Russ, bro. He the only one. Everybody else is sitting up here on these bandwagon. Oh, I'm sorry, Dame Lillard. My bad, I'm sorry. Don't, hey, don't, don't kill me, Dame Lillard fans, but he been doing his thing too. But Russ was really in a good position, bro. Western Conference Finals. You know what I'm saying? With KD, up 3-1. He the only person that really did something in the playoffs last year. Lost his, his main man that's still doing it right now, dog. That's crazy. Like, all these super teams is bust, bro. Like, I don't care about none of the records. If you have to build a super team nowadays, 
your ass, bro. It's that simple, dog. Your ass. Like, what? Who, what do you want me to say? Your ass. Let's keep it all the way real. Like, KD, why you do your man rest like that? Like, <laughs> why you do your man rest like that, fam? Like, all he wanted to do was be best friends forever. Why you do your man like that? I swear, I wish I would understand why KD made the decision he made. But I'm telling y'all right now, let these dudes just get exposed, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see them get exposed. And let's talk about the Cavs real quick. Bro, the Cavs doing it big, bro. Like, granted, they only won against us by, what, one or two points? But, dog, they got them wins under their belt, bro. It's another notch, bro. They just they just pulling their belt like this. Another one, another one, another one. But, man, it's your boy at KC signing out, man. I just had to make this real, this real quick video, bro. I'm tired of taking L's, Philadelphia. Please, like, if y'all need to bring me in and draw up some plays or, you know what I'm saying, train some players, you know what I'm saying, put me on a 10-day contract. Give me 10 days. Any any Philadelphia team, Eagles, Sixers, what? You know what I'm saying? What do you, what you want, Phillies? Y'all done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's been over for y'all. Flyers, what up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just let me know, bro. I'm tired of taking L's, man.